Hello unlimited friends, it's Zara and I am here to respond to a question by Inbal. Her question is, I want to know what's law of attraction perspective on menopause? Feeling overwhelmed lately with this life mind milestone and looking for ways to regain my footing and find relief and happiness around it. Inbal, your question is so, so, so important for all women, all women everywhere in the world. So thank you, first of all, for contributing your question. Here's what I want you to know. Menopause is a natural phenomena. However, it does not have to happen at a specific age or time for anyone. Remember uh, the stories of the old prophets and I forget the name of the woman who had a baby and I think she was 90. At least that's the biblical story is that she was 90 when she delivered a baby. And then went on to have more. So there's no age for this to happen. But because as a society we have accepted that uh, women once they are over the age of 50 are heading towards menopause. And most women experience menopause somewhere between the age of 50 and 60 then that's what happens. And some have early menopause and it, it hits them in their mid forties, but because it's only because we talk about it, because that is the extent of medical discovery. That's the extent to which science has discovered so far. But you have to understand that there are so many things that science still doesn't know. And what science knows today took a long time for science to discover, experiment with, accept, and then put out there. And everybody's body is different. Just because something happens to someone doesn't mean it also has to happen to anyone else. Our bodies are amazing machines and they are capable of anything. And menopause is exactly one of those things. There's this popular culture that says that menopause is going to cause heart flashes, a lot of bleeding, uncomfortable uh, situation, aches and pains, weight gain. Like there is so much around that's talked about with respect to menopause. And I want you to know that none of this, this can happen or has to happen. So um, when I got to my 50th birthday, not so long ago, and I started feeling the physical symptoms, I decided I wasn't going to have anything to do with the popular talk that's going on around me. And I decided I am going to control what happens to my body and how it happens. So for me personally, going through the process was comfortable. It was easy. I've never, ever, ever had any hot flashes. And that's because I told myself that my experience is going to be what I create, what I tell myself. And I am not going to go and research anything to do with menopause. And I'm not going to ask anyone for their advice because I know that my body knows what it needs to do. And I know that any journey towards any end result can be comfortable or it can be a struggle. And I'm going to take the route of comfort and ease and flow. And isn't that what Abraham teaches us? So, that's, I set myself up 
I did the mental work and that's what I experienced. And so for me, it was not a long drawn out process. And for me, it was not an uncomfortable process. And for me, I never talked about it. So nobody ever knew what, that I was going through it because I did not want to invite any comment because I knew that other people's experience is not pos positive. And I knew that I don't want to hear all their talk because the more you listen to, if you listen to 10 different people, you will get 10 different pieces of advice. And the worst thing ever to do when you have a, a medical situation or anything to your, do with your body is to go and look at stuff that's published on the internet because it's just going to confuse you. It's just going to create a wobble inside you. It's just going to make it hard for you to find alignment. And alignment, 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 alignment. Alignment is the only thing we need. And alignment comes from going within and knowing where you want to be on the emotional scale. And then, so, I've probably never said it before, but here's the thing. You first pick where you want to be on the emotional scale. Someone who is right over here in a place of fear or depression, they are not good. They should not. I do not advise them to pick a place that they want to be as this. They have to pick to go from here to here. And when you get here, then you go here. And then from here, you go further up and then further up and further up. Right? So, but the first thing is you need to pick where you're going and then consciously select thoughts, deliberately select thoughts or things to think about that correspond to that emotional state. So if I was going from here, blame and guilt, if I was going to anger, I would ask myself to get angry about the situation. Zara, what are you angry about in this situation? So let's take menopause. What are, what are you angry about in this situation of menopause? I'm angry because I can't sleep. I'm angry because of whatever. Express the anger. And then from anger, go to worry. What are the, what are the things that worry me about this? It worries me that it's going to be long drawn out. It worries me that my body is changing. Whatever that worry is, don't put a lid on it, express it. And you don't have to express it to the whole world. You just need to express it to yourself because the work of going up the emotional scale is internal work that you do for yourself. It doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. And then keep going. So now I'm at worry. What do I want to go to next? I want to go to frustration. And from frustration, I want to go to hope. So what can I hope after I get to frustration? It's so frustrating. I don't like being where I am. What's hope? Hope from there, frust from frustration, hope is easy. It's going to be over soon. And then I'm going to feel better, right? And I'm actually excited about not having periods to deal with on a monthly basis right? So that's the process of going up the emotional scale. And remember, it is law of attraction. Anything you want is possible. It's your belief that you were going to have menopause that has brought you to menopause. Because I mean, and I did the same thing, but literally we have examples where it doesn't have to happen. Those examples also exist doesn't have to happen for a very long time. But now that it is happening to you, take control of the situation by taking control of your thoughts, by taking control of your emotional response. And tell yourself that your body knows what to do because it does know what to do. Your body knows exactly how to function how to bring itself back into equilibrium provided you stop interfering with that process.
All right, so I'm going to close this video. Thank you so much for your question, Inbil. I love uh, getting questions and you can post your questions on social media or you can send them to me through your website. I love responding to Law of Attraction related questions. All right, that's it for now. See you later.